Welcome to Brewster Dairy's New Hire Orientation. This video contains very important information that will ensure your safety while working at our facility. Please pay close attention. There will be a test at the end. Brewster Dairy has been in business since 1965 and produces approximately 45 million pounds of Swiss cheese and 20 million pounds of whey products each year. It has 180 employees working in three primary divisions, cheese making, whey processing, and cutting and packaging. Throughout your training, you will hear two key phrases, good manufacturing practices, or GMP, and best practices. GMP primarily focuses on the safety of the food, while best practices are designed to keep you safe. That is not to say best practices cannot be changed, but they are currently the safest way to perform particular tasks based upon safety standards and codes, as well as the lessons learned from those who worked here before you. Should you ever have any questions or concerns about any safety-related issues, these will be your primary points of contact. We take your safety extremely seriously, so please don't hesitate to reach out to one of these dedicated safety specialists. One of the most important aspects of food production is hygiene, and there are multiple layers of protection put into place to ensure the cheese we produce stays safe. Before starting your shift, we require that you change from your street clothes into fresh, clean work clothes. Locker rooms are provided for this task. Please check your work clothes are in good repair with no holes, frayed seams, or other loose fabric that could detach and end up in the food products. The use of hair nets is mandatory in all production and operation areas, both for your head and any facial hair you may have. In addition, all forms of jewelry, including watches, rings, and piercings, must be removed prior to starting your shift. The use of cell phones is also strictly prohibited. It should be obvious that hand washing is vital before entering the manufacturing areas. Another part of you that requires cleaning, however, are your shoes, and foot baths are provided at each entrance. It is imperative that you walk through the foot baths each time you enter or leave the facility. In addition, Brewster Dairy prohibits eating, drinking, gum chewing, and the use of all tobacco products while in the manufacturing areas. The only exception to this rule is drinking water, which is provided at specific stations throughout the facility. You must use the cone-shaped cups for drinking as standing water is another potential source for germs to grow within the facility. Your personal safety is vital to all of us at Brewster Dairy. While accidents will always be possible, conscientious adherence to the best practices taught during your training will reduce your exposure to risk and help ensure that each day on the job is a safe one. As such, it is crucial that you tell your supervisor immediately if you witness any accident or see the potential for accident or injury to occur. Many injuries and deaths have been prevented simply because an employee said something before the accident happened. This is why we stress to always report near misses immediately. One way in which we can prevent accidents is through the use of PPE, or personal protective equipment. Gloves, safety glasses or face shields, earplugs, respirators, and aprons are all designed to protect you from a specific danger. All production areas are hearing conservation areas. While working in these locations, you might experience noise in excess of 90 decibels. As such, hearing protection is provided for you and its use is mandatory. Brewster Dairy provides three different types of hearing protection, and you're free to choose which style you prefer. The most widely used is the UltraFit earplug. This three-stage rubber plug can be reused and washed multiple times and is generally replaced weekly. The second type is the traditional foam earplug. These should only be used one time, then disposed of properly. The last type of hearing protection is earmuffs, which are worn over the ears. Please ask your supervisor for earmuffs if you prefer to use them. There are certain jobs throughout the plant that require the use of respiratory protection, and your supervisor will discuss with you the requirements and expectations for its use. Generally, the dust mask is commonly used by employees working in the packaging areas, such as when bagging powders. Its use is voluntary, however, and no fit testing or medical evaluation is required for you to use it.
confined spaces are considered any area that is too small for or not designed for human occupancy. They also have limited means of entry or exit. You must never enter a confined area for which you have not received specific training. At Brewster Dairy, all of our confined spaces are considered permit required spaces. If you see a confined entry team at work and you are not a part of that team, please stay away. Sometimes it is the simplest distraction that leads to the most dangerous situation. Lockout tagout is a method of ensuring that a machine, system, or process is isolated from its energy source and cannot be used while maintenance is in progress. There are four types of energy to consider. Electrical, pneumatic, which is pressurized air, thermal, which at Brewster Dairy is in the form of steam, and hydraulic, or pressurized oil. Additionally, we need to consider potential and kinetic energy. Never work on or enter a machine without ensuring that you have personally locked it out and de-energized the system. If you are part of a team working on a machine, insist that each of you place a lock on the device prior to working on it. There are rare exceptions where it is not possible to physically lock out a device. In these cases, it is preferable to have a staff member attend that control to prevent its inadvertent operation, although at a minimum, a tag should be placed on the control to warn others of the work being performed. In addition, if you're performing repairs using high-speed cutting tools, open flames, or anything that has the potential for causing a fire, a hot work permit is required. Your supervisor will ensure you have the appropriate permits and training prior to performing any hot work repairs. Bloodborne pathogens are unseen hazards which must be considered anytime you're faced with a medical issue or clean up blood and other bodily fluids such as vomit. Hepatitis, AIDS, HIV, and a host of other STDs are all carried in the blood and can be transmitted through accidental exposure. In the example you just saw, John rushed to help stop the bleeding from Terry's wound, but also exposed himself to the risk of contaminated blood. John was lucky in this case, but avoiding contact with blood should be your first priority. This is what John should have done. You'll learn more about Code Yellow later on in this presentation. common injury in the workplace is when working with objects that are too heavy or too awkward to be handled safely. The human body is designed to perform work between the knees and shoulders and performing any task outside of this area places additional strain on the body which can lead to injury. If you're required to lift something from the floor, work above your head, or perform any task outside of your normal range of motion, please use common sense and don't hesitate to ask for assistance when required. To assist in moving heavy or large objects, Brewster Dairy uses various types of powered industrial trucks, cranes, and hoists. Lift trucks are generally used in the packaging areas. Pallet jacks, or donkeys, are used for moving heavy objects such as UCMs or universal cheese molds. Never operate a truck, hoist, or crane unless you have received specific training on its use. And if you're walking in an area where they're being used, exercise extreme caution. Slips, trips, and falls are the most frequent workplace injury in America, and nearly all of them can be prevented with just a little common sense. The cheesemaking process uses a lot of water, and as such, most floors are wet. Therefore, the use of anti-slip shoes is mandatory while working at the plant. Also, be on the lookout for objects lying on the floor and never, ever run within the production facility. There are two types of fall protection, suppression and prevention. Fall prevention is by far the safest method as it prevents even the possibility of a fall. When prevention isn't possible, a fall suppression device is mandatory. Through the use of a harness and self-retracting lifeline, or SRL, your fall will be stopped within the first few feet. If using a suppression device, it is important to have a rescue plan in place. You don't want to be hanging for an hour waiting for help. 
If you are required to use a ladder as part of your job, always select the appropriate ladder for the task and always use it correctly. Never lean off the side of a ladder. A good rule of thumb is to keep your belly button between the rails. Never use the top two rungs of a ladder. If you need to reach higher, get a taller ladder. Never lean a stepladder against a wall. It is designed only to be used in an A shape. Remember a four to one ratio for longer ladders. For every four feet the ladder is tall, it should be placed one foot away from the wall. Always tie off the top of the ladder when possible, especially if you'll be moving excessively while using it. Maintain three points of contact with the ladder at all times. If you need both hands free to perform a task, you must wear fall protection, or if possible, use a scissor lift. At Brewster Dairy, we use a wide variety of machines that, if used improperly, could cause significant injury or death. One way to prevent injury is through the use of machine guards which protect from flying debris or that will turn off a device should the operator get too close. Never disable a machine guard without also complying with lockout, tagout procedures. When cleaning or sanitizing machines, remember that electricity is still present within the device. Never directly spray water or sanitizing solution directly onto any electrical component such as control panels or junction boxes. All motors and disconnects are marked with an arc flash hazard rating and PPE level required. Only qualified electrical personnel are permitted to work on these components. MCC stations are hubs for high voltage electrical current. These areas are marked with yellow striping and arc flash labels. An arc flash is a small explosion created when electricity jumps between two components. This explosion creates an intense heat, hot enough to instantly melt circuitry and send shards of metal and plastic outwards at bullet-like speeds. Repairs to these devices require specific training and FR-rated clothing. Therefore, if you see a crew working in an arc flash zone, stay well away. Brewster Dairy uses a wide range of chemicals within the plant, and as an employee, you have the right to know what they are, how they're used, and the correct methods for their handling and storage. This information can be found in the safety data sheets, which are located by the time clock and in each supervisor's office. One chemical to pay close attention to is anhydrous ammonia, which we use as a refrigerant. For everyone's safety, we perform checks on our ammonia systems at scheduled times daily to prevent leaks. We take great strides to keep our system in sound operating condition using a preventative plan called PSM. In the highly unlikely event a leak does occur, our RMP comes into play. This is the action plan. In this situation, a code white will be issued and plant evacuation or shelter in place will begin. During an evacuation, the wind socks located on the top of each silo are designed to show you which direction the wind, and thus the chemical, is traveling. It is vital you evacuate in the opposite direction. It should go without saying that any chemical spills should be reported immediately and cleaned up in a timely manner. But at Brewster Dairy, we take the spill of any liquid very seriously. We operate an on-site wastewater treatment plant and any spill has to be contained and treated before it can come into contact with the groundwater supply in order to avoid contamination. As we mentioned earlier, some events, such as chemical releases and fire, may require evacuation of the building. There are times, however, such as during severe weather and power outages, that it is safer to stay within the walls of the facility. Information on evacuation routes and storm shelters are generally posted near your time clock. Although, if you're unsure of where to go in an emergency on a particular day, ask your supervisor. These maps show the safety equipment, evacuation areas, shelter areas, and the routes to be taken should an evacuation or retreat to a storm shelter be necessary. Emergencies within the facility are announced using a color-coded system. Memorize this chart so that you know the correct response to each emergency. A code yellow is used any time an emergency response team is required. This could be for a medical emergency, as you saw earlier, or for a fire. If announcing a code yellow yourself, you must state both the type of emergency and its location. In case of a fire, Brewster Dairy has about 105 fire extinguishers, 
and 48 employees who are trained on their use. If you see a fire, announce a code yellow and the location of the fire, then leave the firefighting to trained personnel. Code green is used for weather emergencies. Once issued, it is expected that all staff will retreat to the shelter areas immediately. As mentioned before, code white is issued when there is a dangerous release of chemicals that requires a plant evacuation. Code red is issued for all other types of building evacuations, typically involving a fire that cannot be extinguished by the first responders. A code gray is issued for all power outages. Should the facility lose electricity, leave your work area immediately and proceed to your break room. The only exception is for those working in the Huey Products plant, who should head towards the front control room. Finally, code black is issued in cases of violence or terrorism. Should this occur, follow the instructions given by your supervisors. Brewster Dairy is committed to your safety and the safety of everyone working in our facility, and we sincerely thank you for your attention. If you have any questions on anything you've just seen, please ask your supervisor. We look forward to working with you.